Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. It's what time is it? Almost 7 30. And when he wakes up in the morning, like when he actually opens his eyes, we come over here and hang out for a little bit. And then he'll eat again, and then we'll go downstairs and start our day. But we hang out in bed a little bit first. Yeah, we're almost getting to that hungry point, though. We almost want to eat again, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And I am starving. Someone is sucking the life and nutrients out of me. That's you. He'll want to eat soon. And then hopefully he'll leave me alone long enough so I can have breakfast and make coffee and do all that normal human stuff. And I need to shower today as well. Am I hanging out? No. None of my clothes fit, so thanks. Thanks for all you do. So Dave took the baby so I could shower, clean myself, I've made coffee. I've eaten leftover pizza for breakfast because you know what? You can only get healthier from there when you eat leftover pizza for breakfast. And I am uploading a video for my collab channel. How about that? Getting stuff done, guys. Doing stuff while the baby sleeps. Yay. I had like a whole list of things that I need to do today. Like just things for work and just, just admin adulting, which is just, stressful i am not good at it like i was talking to the women for accounting because i need to do documents and put owen on my insurance and all this stuff and i am so stupid when it comes to insurance and i feel stupid so she was telling me about like i don't know what a deductible is i don't know what that means i don't know what what's the other part there's another thing i don't know i don't know anything about it and i I feel really stupid. And so she's there like telling me all this paper stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> and I just feel so dumb. Like I wanted to cry Ooh. dumb. I have let you out two times and you have not peed either time. So you are not going to cry at me because the cat is down in the basement yowling for whatever reason. She's whining. I've let her out twice. She hasn't done anything. And then, you know, babies, they cry. So like, you three need to figure it out. So I need to go back there and get uh, the rest of that all set up because I needed other paperwork to make that happen. And I just have a to-do list on my phone of things to get done. <laughs> I'm exhausted. My eyeballs are tired. Like the skin under my eyes are tired. Look at that. <sighs> <laughs> Never sleeping again. Team no sleep. Oh, and then mommy's day of fun. Just kidding. I'm gonna go to work and get paperwork sorted out. And we're on a time crunch because he's a baby. He's like, you know, got places to be. He's on a schedule, his schedule. So yeah, gotta make this quick stop chit chatting and make it happen. Okay. Okay, so we are back from our little outing. I passed the baby off to Dave so he could change him for me because I was holding him after feeding. And I think I got, I think this little spot, this wet spot, I think it's pee. It is what it is, whatever. But I had him change him so that way I could like get something to eat real quick. Just like a quick bowl of cereal because like, I don't want to make anything. Even though we went grocery shopping yesterday. I want something on my teeth. Uh, we had done grocery shopping yesterday and you know you buy groceries and then you bring it back and you're like, I don't wanna cook any of this. <laughs> That's where I am. But I did buy stuff to make like salads and things that are fairly easy to make. It's just about the making them. But the cereal pretty much filled me up. But because I'm breastfeeding, it just it takes all my nutrients, man. I was so tired yesterday, I was just, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Much like that. I know, we just did some tummy time, but he is now in his dome. Hanging out, we got our eyes open. We did a lot of sleeping in our car seat while we were gone, which is really helpful. I'm glad that 
usually he sleeps when he's in his car seat. You are a cute little man. This dome, oh good fart. Um, this dome is from Fisher Price and there are toys that can hang from the top and his vision is getting better every day. So I'm thinking about attaching the toys to the top because he will actually be able to see them. And with his eyes being more open more often, I do want him to feel like he can look around, but I also want to put him in this dome, but there's not a lot of stimulating things in here, obviously. But this is our downstairs lay area because I can shut it because this part comes up so I can shut it and it keeps her out of it and I don't have to worry about her coming over here and dropping a toy in on top of him. Yes, good kicking, good kicking. His eyes are getting more and more blue every single day. It's crazy how much he changes in such a short amount of time. Like it is wild, it's wild to watch. He's pooping. Yep, he's pooping. And he was just changed. Like a poopy diaper was just changed. We do have some furniture in here. I don't think I've shown you guys any of the house since being in it, but we are getting a couch tomorrow because right now this is what our living room looks like. She's a little bear. Dave did install this unit yesterday. It's not hooked up or anything. This is gonna be our, our cooling, our heating and cooling system, I think. I don't know, Dave talks and sometimes I don't listen very well. <sighs> but yeah, our living room is very bare. This is our kitchen. It's still very much a tool space. So we try to keep the tools over here. We are going to get a table and some chairs that will eventually go here. I do want to get some bar stools, but right now it's very much a baby station. Like these are the onesies that fit him right now. This is just a bag that I've been putting off taking upstairs. <laughs> Socks, mittens, hats, swaddles, towels, washcloths, diapers that I also need to take upstairs. Kai brought us some um, Target brand diapers that she said that Vera has like a reaction to because she has just very sensitive skin and he hasn't had any issues with any of the diapers we've tried yet. So I was like, well, we'll try them. Worst case scenario, we can't use them either which we can just give it a try. But this whole area needs to be cleaned up. I need to do some dishes. I don't know that I'm gonna do any of that stuff today though. Don't know that I am feeling it. You know what? It's also summer vacation. I'm a new mom. I'm tired. I don't wanna do anything. But yeah, so that's our living room kitchen. Can't wait for the couch to get here because then tomorrow I can start just napping down here with him. He can get into his dome. I can shut the lid and I can take a nap and that will be so helpful I think for, you know, the days because people say, nap while the baby's napping. Well, you know where I can't nap? This camp chair. <laughs> I could borrow Molly's bed, I guess. See, this is why. Sometimes she just brings her ball and drops it in the dome when he's not in it. He has, She hasn't dropped her ball in the dome yet while he's been in it. So that's why usually the lid is up unless I'm right here to supervise and I can see and handle it. You are standing on his burp cloth though. Let me show you our sitting room. This is just a, this has turned into a tiny downstairs tour. Um, this is our sitting room, which will eventually have seating, games, books, um, maybe my ukuleles. I'm gonna hang my ukuleles up in here. Everything's just gonna be really slow getting it together since the renovation has finished, but right now it is just Mala's crate and some boxes. <laughs> Everything else is empty. Also, she, yeah, I'm about to talk about you, thanks. She is shedding so bad that these floors get so nasty so fast because she's just a little shedder, a little shedder. But I'm gonna watch some Max and Leaf. They live in a van, they're traveling around, they're in Peru currently. Highly, 10 out of 10 would recommend this channel. I'm gonna sit and watch the videos, catch back up on their adventure, hang out and maybe edit my own videos depending on when he needs me to pick him up again. So, momming. I love this. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. I like this part. It's so precious. You precious? We don't have a problem, I'll do it. 
Doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. How was that? Good. You weigh eight pounds and two ounces. That is crazy. <laughs> I have cheeks on my face and my bum. <laughs> <laughs> I have cheeks now. Dave and I went for a little walk. We had to talk to some of the neighbors. We live in such a good area now. It's like really cool. But look who stopped by. Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> Purely to see the kid. Are you guys leaving tomorrow for New York and then Saturday for your honeymoon? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so exciting. I was really excited about it. He's like, yes. Yes. Yes, Lay. Baxter, leave Mulligan alone. This is my grouchy time oh, no. now. Got the like bottom lip just like push out. Oh yeah. We were walking back up the road and now he gets to the point of crying where he like chatters. Where it's just like, ah! <laughs> You're literally fine. <laughs> I know that you're fine. I checked all the boxes before we took this walk. And it was the same thing yesterday, like seven o'clock rolled around, everything was fine, and he just cried for like an hour and a half straight. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then he was fine. <laughs> but he might need a diaper change now. And then <laughs> probably eating again. <laughs> Dylan called me today though. Yeah. Talked to Dylan for yeah. like 30 minutes. So that was cool. His submarine surfaced, so he leaves again tomorrow to go under the ocean. And then he won't resurface until September. Good morning, it's Friday, and we have a couch. Oh, and it is some couch. I've had to put Mala in her bed because I've got this little shark over here, and sometimes she just gets a little close, but free. Good girl. We are having a little bit of a, a tummy issue day. We have spit up and thrown up a few times today, more often than usual. Kai suggested a couple things and I think we're gonna go with gripe water. She said that it helps with hiccups and he has the hiccups a lot. So we'll start with that. I've just sent Dave off to Rite Aid to pick some up because I'm gonna stay with this little bean. He's just not feeling that great. But couch got delivered today, which is which is awesome. So the guys that were delivering it, they were like, oh, did you also get a queen size box spring? We did, but we already picked it up when we picked up our bed and they're like, <laughs> cool. You know, one of those miscommunications that happens in the workplace. Now that we have the couch, I can envision on the days that he is feeling a lot better, putting him in his dome and me zonking out either on the couch part or on the reclining bits because already like having this couch feels kind of dangerous. Like where with the camp chairs, like I had no choice but to sit up. Now that I can lay back, I'm like, oh, I could just sleep right here. I could just catch up on all my sleep right now. He actually did really well sleeping last night. He slept for two hours at a time and then woke up to eat and then, you know, did that a few different, few different times. So I'm feeling okay. I feel like I got a good amount of sleep. It's still the morning time, but I'm hoping around like two, three o'clock we can get in a little nap because I've been using this app to monitor his sleeping and his eating to try to see if there's any like patterns and stuff. The purple bits, don't know that you can see. There we go. The purple bits are sleeping and then the yellow bit is feeding and then there's also diaper changes and usually around three o'clock, three, four, we get sleeping so at least a little short sleep stint i could go for one of those but none of us have felt like super great in the last couple days like dave just doesn't feel wonderful last night i wasn't feeling my best and now he's not doing great this morning the thing with breastfeeding though is i can literally not get hydrated it is impossible like this kid just sucks out all my nutrients and I cannot, for the life of me, get hydrated no matter how much water I drink in a day, no matter how much water I drink at night. Every time after I feed him throughout the night, I take a drink from my water bottle. And no matter what, I just cannot get hydrated. And I always wake up with like a slight headache from what I think is dehydration slash 
my body's ready for a coffee. So that's just something that I was not expecting that and I'm still getting really hot sweats at night, which I had looked up. It was happening the first week that we brought him home and I was like, why am I so hot right now in the middle of the night when I know for a fact that the AC is on, why am I on fire? It's because it's my body trying to get extra fluids out like all the fluids and bits that he was floating around in and all the water retention that my body had had i'm sweating my butt off at night because my body's trying to get rid of that extra fluid and then i can't get hydrated because i'm breastfeeding and sweating my butt off at night so i wake up with a headache just absolutely dehydrated on fire like i didn't know any of that stuff before having a kid. And to be fair, like I don't know a lot about babies. It's just not something that I was like super interested in, like wanting to have a baby. It's only been something that I've wanted like within the past couple of years. So it's not like, I wasn't one of those teenagers that were like, oh my gosh, babies, I want to babysit small children, like blah, 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 all these things. I didn't change a diaper until I had a kid. Like <laughs> I don't, I, I was not interested in learning about babies, so I, I really don't know much. I feel pretty instinctual about a lot of things just because, I mean, I have worked with kids, just nothing this small before, but just as far as like baby maintenance goes, completely new at it, working completely intuitively, which is how I operate in life anyway, so I feel pretty confident about that. I'm gonna try to open myself up to advice from other people when they are just trying to be helpful, which is something that is hard for me, but I'm also going to draw that hard line of, you know, like what I want to do as a mom. And I actually got this really great message from one of my friends from college who I had, had not heard from for a really long time. Like we just haven't really kept in contact and we just recently started following each other on Instagram, bless social media. And he sent me this really sweet message and I'm just gonna like, keep keep this message in mind and he says yeah motherhood is quite a challenge speaking secondhand just remember that no one is perfect and you'll always do what's best for your little one even when you're unsure second guessing yourself just trust your instincts you are the best mama for your baby and i love that but just watching a lot more of it's me or the dog on youtube <laughs> we've watched it's me or the dog for the last three days at least i can sit on a couch <laughs> and do it <sighs> Owen has nearly slept like an hour on my lap and I put him in his dome like 20 minutes ago and he's just now starting to stir. But our neighbor, one of our neighbors brought vegetables from their garden. Guys, I love where we live. How did this happen? Is this a trick? Is this like, is this like real life? Is this how it is now? Are we part of a community? What is this? I don't understand. Oh, hello, pupper. Dave is outside taking apart the old front bit like the front stairs he has been out there chopping it up doing work today getting himself out in that sunshine i keep trying to get him to drink more like regular water instead of sparkling waters hello bud you hungry you're trying to eat your hand so yeah okay i hear you loud and clear 10-4 good buddy oh well i'm trying to get dave to drink more regular water instead of sparkling water but that's a whole different battle. It's a whole different fight. I'm gonna feed him, watch more YouTube, because this is life now. Motherhood, I did manage to swap over laundry and fill the dishwasher in the 20 minutes that he has been laying in the dome. Oh, and I did the cat box, so. I guess that's enough stuff for today. <sighs> My stomach hurts. I've got this cool like pain in my chest. Someone's been screaming for the past hour. And I've had my own cry. <laughs> ah! Yeah, same. Cool.
buddy to stay sleeping, please. He's been having a hard day and I've been having a hard day. Yeah, I don't know. Not great at talking about this sort of stuff. Like this is the stuff that I just kind of keep to myself, like even to like the people in my life and stuff, so. It's just hard. Tomorrow will be better. We'll make it better tomorrow. No, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, the phone will sing the songs from shore to shore. Good morning. Cause I put my faith in a man. We just did some tummy time over here on the yoga mat so I could lie down with him. You the perfect flower and set it sweetly in your hair. You're so cute when you're not screaming. I love you. Mwah. I'm hungry though. You can, can I put you down? Can I put you down so I can get something to eat? Is that okay? Please? We're gonna try the dome. Fingers crossed. He didn't like being laid down, so I picked him up. But the burp cloth, which is over here, his face is over here. I just got spit up right down between my boobs. Thanks, dude. Thanks. It's just in there. Just in there. Just pooling. Do I have food in my teeth? Yep. Maybe we'll do some more gripe water this morning. Just to help it, see if it helps. I just gotta keep you sat up after feeding you because you've been a little bleh <laughs> the last couple days. You're digging me. I can feel your tiny nails digging into my chest and it hurts. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to reposition the burp cloth so it's actually underneath you before you, no, okay. Too late, okay, cool. <laughs> I've taken a little shower, a little quick shower. No, didn't wash my hair, just like washed my body just because it felt really hot and sticky. Owen is sleeping, Dave is out mowing the lawn. We got a visit from our neighbors earlier. They came and chatted for a little bit and they brought Owen some clothes for when he's bigger, which is good because we don't have a lot of big Owen clothes and he's starting to grow out of his newborn stuff a little bit, so we needed some older kid clothes. Our house though is not fit for hosting people. It's so hard to get ahead of cleaning and tidying because we haven't lived here. You know what I mean? So it's just like already starting from behind. It's not like we were already moved in, settled, and then could just clean up everything in anticipation of a baby. Like it's basically like we're in the mode of moving. We have our stuff in so many different spots and it's just hard to get ahead of because baby reasons so it's mostly just trying to keep up with the stuff that we have unpacked and even that is just it's difficult but today has been a lot better of a day for us so dave went out and bought hi i'm sorry attention uh, dave went out and bought baby powder for him because he was you know just not drying out in the diaper so We've been doing that a lot more today and I think that's helped. We haven't had to use any gripe water today, but we have held him for a majority of the day, majority, majority of the day, trying to keep him at an angle. So I think I want to go buy like one of those little seats because there is still a lot of baby stuff that we just don't have. Like we don't have a swing. One of those baby seats would be great. We don't have a like a baby monitor yet because he's just always in the same room as me. So there's not really a big need for one yet because I'm always with him. Obviously when he does move into his own room, then we will make sure that we have a system in place before that happens. But for right now, we don't have that. Like a play mat, don't have a play mat for him. I've been putting a blanket on top of my yoga mat to do tummy time for him, which we've done twice today. So when he wakes up and is awake a lot more, we will do another round of tummy time. That'll be his third session of the day and Dave wants to go to the drive-in movies tonight. We were gonna go yesterday. Yesterday was the original plan, but as you saw, yesterday was just not going to happen. Um, it's so much different having to live on someone else's schedule, I guess is what I'm trying to say. 
and for me it's always been really hard to get up and get going especially like in the afternoons so it's just learning that and doing that and just doing a new chapter of my life i guess it's just getting into that habit we'll see how it goes i mean it's it's gotta go right something gotta happen dave and i have watched all of afterlife on netflix great show can't wait for season two to come out in 2020 and then we just started watching the good place which why haven't i watched either of these shows sooner we're loving it i had to stop watching the good place because dave went outside to mow and i guess this is going to be one of the shows that we watch together so i've just got some random netflix home series playing in the background right now and i'm going to make myself a little snack because i am literally ravenous all the time which i was already like i am already a pretty good eater like i like eating all the time i've already i've always been a huge snacker and it's just more because someone is stealing all of my calories there is so much time between this clip and the last clip Dave's upstairs with the baby. I'm not neglecting my child, I promise. I think the last clip you saw, we were going to go to the drive-in. We didn't end up going to the drive-in at all last weekend. My mom ended up coming that night and she stayed two nights with us and helped out with renovation, helped out with the baby, helped out with cleaning up. She was just here all weekend. It was really nice. I had one of those days. It was a really hard day for me, just like mentally postpartum stuff. So one day was really hard and I feel like I do want to talk about it a little bit more but not in this vlog just because this vlog has already gone on for so long. So I just want to kind of wrap this one up so that way I can start filming a new one and that just can't happen until I wrap this one up. I do want to show you, we'll come in this bathroom, I do want to show you I am in my pre-pregnancy jeans. These are jeans I wore before I was pregnant. Owen is three weeks today. So it's been three weeks since I've given birth. So I definitely have like this little overhang, which like I kind of had before anyway. I think I've kind of talked about the fact that I've always had like a little bit of extra here, which has never really been a huge deal. But yeah, I can now button these. I did try to put these on last week and I could not get them buttoned. They are too tight. So after I go and run the errands that I need to run, these bad boys are coming off. I just don't have anything else clean that's appropriate for public wear. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.